Happy New Year, everyone. So excited to be able to spend a little time in God's Word with you. And I hope you're with us on Sunday when we kicked off a brand new series called Crushing It. It has to do with the battle in our mind and making sure we're crushing the wrong thing so that we can crush it in the winning sense of that phrase in the right way. And I want to take you to one of the verses I referenced on Sunday, which was Psalm 1914. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. You know, David is talking about the significance of thinking the right things, but also then speaking the right things. The the meditation of my heart, but also the words of my mouth. And I want to focus on that a little bit today because all series long, whether you're in Dublin or whether you're in Alamo, we're going to talk about who we are in Christ. And we're going to give some titles and then we're going to give some statements. And these are things that I want to encourage you to use your mouth to literally say them, repeat them, keep getting them in. Because sometimes the way that we actually train and trans and God transforms our mind is through the use of our mouth. And the two of these things go together. You know, Jesus said from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So there's got to be something that connects our heart to our mouth and our mouth to our heart. And so I always found it interesting when Moses describes in Genesis, God creating, the revelation to him about that was that God spoke the world into existence. And so the power of God's spoken word, and then God takes it and puts it down to our level. The power of our spoken word is also significant. That comes up in Proverbs many times, but here's one of them. Proverbs 18, 21, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So this little thing right here, it can speak life to people or death to people. It can also speak life to your own transformation or death to your transformation. There's a correlation in the scripture that's not just positive confession. It's not just, you know, trying to be a, a good, optimistic, you know, person saying, you know, statements that you just made up. It's actually being in alignment with scripture, in alignment with what God's doing in your life. If we're not speaking faith, declaring the good things of God and declaring even scripture over our lives, or perhaps some of these titles over our lives, I don't think we'll go as far as we could if we do that. So today then is taking, let's, I'm going to use one of the statements that we had in our notes. I live in the victory, freedom, and blessing of God's will and way. What if you got up all week long and just repeated that phrase many times throughout the day in your mind i live in the victory freedom and blessing of god's will and way i'll guarantee you this you won't always feel like you're doing that but that's the whole point we don't live captive to our feelings we live committed to our faith and sometimes we got to actually declare our faith over our feelings so that when i don't feel like i'm living in victory i can declare but that's who god created me to be when i'm not living in freedom i can declare but that's who god freed me to be I can live as a free person. I'm not captive to my feelings. I'm not captive to my past. I'm not captive to culture. I can actually live in the victory, freedom, and blessing of God's will and ways. So we're going to give a number of those statements out, five different ones, five different titles. Let them get in your spirit. Let them get in your mind. Let them be scripture and the Holy Spirit transforming literally some of the thought wiring that goes on inside of our own brains. I want to pray for that today because I really believe that there's power in doing what God says, not just hearing it, doing it. Today has to do with speaking it, using your tongue in harmony with your faith. So Jesus, we're doing that even in prayer. You told us to pray. You told us to bring our petitions to you. Something happens when we actually use our mouths to lift our voices in praise and prayer. And so my friends today, I, I want to speak life over them. I want to speak life over 2024. The guidance that you want to give them, the peace you want to give them, the help you want to give them, the way you want to use them, the way your Holy Spirit can anoint them, call them, strengthen them, cause them to rise up and live in the victory, blessing, and freedom of your will and ways. So Lord, help us this week to harness this little thing in our mouth, this rudder, in our mouth that directs the course of our lives. I pray that over my friends in Jesus' name. Amen.